If you're watching this video, it's probably because your AC is making some crazy noises lately that you're not used to. Or you just moved into a house and the AC has never been used until now and of course it's making some strange noises. But why is this thing getting noisier and noisier every summer? Coming up next on Fox Family Heating, Air Conditioning and Solar, I wanted to share some things that I've seen out in the field working on other people's AC systems that might help you isolate where the noise is coming from and some possible reasons why your AC is so loud. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Your air conditioner is very likely on the side of your house. For some people, it's on the roof. And for obvious reasons, a roof mounted AC is definitely gonna make some low consistent vibration because it's mounted on the roof joist, which are connected to the wall studs and the rest of the house. So for those of you with a rooftop air conditioner or complete package units that are so common here in California, that is something that you may be stuck with as long as it's up there. Also, I'm sure you already know, these are machines and machines do make noise. Typically, the older they get, the louder they get. So understanding that, let's dive into some real issues you might be experiencing on systems that aren't 20 years or older. I wanna break this thing into two parts things you can fix yourself, and things you might want to have a real HVAC technician look at. Notice I said real HVAC technician and not just a person dressed up like a technician who's just there to sell you a new system. These deceiving salesmen and saleswomen are only in it for the money and they have no interest in saving your system. Remember, if the parts are available and yours very likely are, or can at least be retrofitted with correctly matched universal parts, it can be repaired. You're in charge. Like I always say on this channel, your system is designed to last about 20 years before you might start considering getting a newer system. But it's really about where you want to put your money and not the technician. Your AC that sits on the side of your house really only has a few parts in it that's going to make some crazy noises. Inside the shell of that outdoor unit is a compressor, a fan motor, and an on-off switch called a contactor. The biggest part, the compressor, pumps the refrigerant through your system like your heart does the blood in your body. This pumping requires two spiral plates to rotate in elliptical motion. And sometimes those plates, more commonly called scrolls in our field, can chip or come out of alignment, creating the loudest, most awful noise you've ever heard. Especially if it happens at night when you're sleeping. It's a grinding noise or a loud clacking noise that cannot be missed. You know, it's not like we can just take the cover off and look inside to fix it either. It's a hermetically sealed part that can't be opened by anyone. If this noise can't be fixed from the outside of the compressor, you're most likely going to agree with your technician when they say you need to replace that part. I personally remember a house in Coloma, California that was doing this. The loud noise never stopped for the customer as they ran their AC. Heck, it wasn't even cooling the house either. It was just running and running and running. As we approached the unit that was completely on the other side of the house, it got louder and louder. After some testing, I noticed the compressor wasn't pumping like it should, yet it was still making this loud noise. This was the loudest air conditioner I have ever heard. It was a 10-year-old Bryant, so we changed that compressor out, and the system has run fine from there on out. I've also come upon an AC where the compressor, one like we were just talking about, wasn't out of alignment or broken, but internally had a part called a bypass that was stuck open. This created a loud squealing or screaming noise indicative of high pressure or high heat inside that compressor. Before replacing this part though, a technician should determine if the refrigerant pressures within the system are adequate, as well as some other tests. Whatever the solution, I just wanted you to be aware of some of the noises that this compressor makes. Another time we might have to replace the part making the noise is on the condenser fan motor. That's the fan blade that you've probably seen that spins on the top of your AC when it's running. I've come out on a house before where this motor that spins, the fan blade, is making like a high pitched whistling noise. As I looked around the AC, my eyes and ears finally isolated the noise coming from this motor. Every AC motor has ball bearings that help the motor shaft spin but these bearings are sealed and can't be accessed to lubricate them, which would likely solve the problem. 
So in this case, the motor has to be replaced if you want the loud noise to cease. Finding the right motor can be tricky too, so it's probably best to let a qualified technician do it. Just putting a motor with the wrong speed setting on it will cause cooling issues you won't be happy with. Next, your AC has an on-off switch called a contactor. The thermostat inside your home tells it when to switch on and off by sending a low voltage signal. Two plates come together at that very moment to allow the high voltage through to the parts that we were just talking about before, the compressor and the condenser fan motor. Well, as the years go by, pitting caused by the high voltage arcs happening between those two plates as they come together can get to a point where the two plates won't come together all the way, creating a loud buzzing noise. Not near as loud as that compressor I was telling you about earlier in the video, but loud enough to get your attention. Getting into the electrical panel of an air conditioner can be pretty intimidating and dangerous, causing electrical shock. So let's make sure a qualified technician helps you with this one. Once again, getting the wrong switch can lead to more expensive problems. Now, here are some loud noises that you are likely able to isolate and fix yourself. But still, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, just call Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar, and our techs will be happy to fix this stuff for you. First, if your system starts making loud noises, make sure it's level. If the AC isn't flat, oil inside the compressor might not be lubricating the way it should be. Just be careful not to bend the copper lines coming from the wall to the AC, because this will definitely strangle the refrigerant and cause more expensive problems. Next, sometimes sticks and leaves can block the fan blade on top of the AC from spinning, which causes some strange noises with the AC. So definitely go outside and at least check to see if there are any sticks or toys that are there preventing the fan blade from spinning. The damage may already be done to the motor, but you can at least try. Also, the fan blade is protected by a round metal shroud that is there to allow warm air to flow out of it, but also to protect people from getting their fingers inside of the AC. Sometimes this shroud starts rattling as the screws that hold it down start vibrating loose, possibly creating a larger hole than the screws that were initially sized for. As your AC runs, the rattling can get pretty annoying, so this tends to happen on older systems. The solution would be to install a little bit wider screws that could hold the shroud down more securely. This will fill the hole better and create less noise. Another trick we like to do is get these little rubber isolation pads and use them as shims to help dampen the vibration between the shroud and the frame of the AC. This can really help in reducing the vibrating or rattling noise on your aging system. Preventive maintenance is key. If Fox Family can get out to your system twice a year and do the necessary checks and clean your system, we know that we can make your system last longer. A clean system is a healthy system. But if you don't want to hire us to do these checks for you, no problem. Here are some things that you can definitely do on your own to help your system out. I know you've heard this before, but change your filters as needed. This is the most important thing that you can do as a homeowner to protect your AC system. I always say if your filter isn't perfectly clean, it's time to change it out. The filters we use at my house come with a cardboard trim around it with some white mesh or fiberglass as the filter media. They're also the cheapest filters sold at the store. They're like seven bucks for a three pack. If that filter isn't perfectly white, then I change it out and I'm not tied to it because we bought some expensive filters. Some people buy these $20 filters and it's almost like they want to hang on to them so long, even though they're brown or gray in color now. Ooh, that's gross. That's the air that we're breathing. And that's the air that the children in the house are breathing. This dirty, dead skin, pollen-laden filter is now basically a contaminated breathing mask, essentially for your AC. If that dirty filter were up against your mouth as you breathe in, you would definitely change it. So that's what I compare it to. Anyways, you get the picture, and I'm sorry for getting too graphic there. Another reason to change that filter is because super dirty filters can suffocate the compressor, which causes burnouts, clogged evaporator coils, and other cooling problems. If the air filter is too dirty, the evaporator coil can even form into a block of ice, really causing some serious cooling issues, including loud screaming compressors that can't circulate the refrigerant anymore. Washing the AC outside unit every now and then would be nice too. It doesn't take much energy to do and it doesn't take any soapy solutions to do this either. But if that coil on the outside AC gets clogged like a dirty filter does, high pressures can occur in the refrigerant system causing loud squealing noises to arise. 
And please don't use a pressure washer. You'll destroy the parts of the system that are crucial for airflow and heat transfer. But you do want to use just enough pressure from the hose to start knocking off loose dirt and small debris down to the ground. Also, try to focus on not bending any of the fins that surround the AC. These are called the condenser coils, and if you flatten them, you'll have created some crazy noises with your AC. Well, I hope this has helped you understand where some of the strange loud noises are coming from on your air conditioner that sits outside. If you have any questions or doubts that you can isolate the noise yourself, let us know at Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar, and we'd love to help keep your system running for a long time. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.